It's March in college basketball, which means one thing, lose and your season is over. That's the reality that ISU was facing when they took on the Green Bay Phoenix Wednesday night. Right from the get-go, the Redbirds would play with a sense of urgency. They would start the game on an 11-2 run. <laughs> then, the Phoenix decided to rise to the occasion. They would catch fire to the tune of a 10-0 run and claim a 31-24 lead at the half. That would play right into ISU's hands because they've made a habit of making huge second-half comebacks. Despite shooting a combined 0 for 7 from behind the arc in the first half, their confidence never wavered and the Redbirds continued to let it fly. Senior leader Deshaun Knight could have been playing in the last game of his career and made a series of clutch threes to bring ISU all the way back. Deshaun Knight is as excited to be playing right now as anybody in the country. And you can see it in practice, you can see it shoot around. I mean, he, he wants to win so badly to keep playing. A 13-2 run would give the Birds their first lead since early in the first half, but it would be short-lived. The Phoenix would knock the game up at 46 with just seven minutes remaining. Then came an emphatic message from Devon Akun Purcell. Akuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of the game. By the end of this one, the Redbirds would clip the Phoenix's wings and live to fly another day winning 69-56. to Next up for the Redbirds is a date with Old Dominion, a team they've beaten once already this season. We just got to be ready to battle. It was like a long time. We played them in Thanksgiving, so they probably got a, new, a couple of new tricks up their sleeve. And just going to watch, have to watch film and just be ready for them.